Bottom line up front here, we've seen a rise in games where you can make purchases for upgrades. If a credit card is on file, hopefully you as a parent know that. Tonight, this story, a reminder as a parent to remind your kids that good internet habits apply to video games too. Fortnite's popularity has gone viral. One hacker went after 13-year-old Ohio native Jake Bates's wallet though. It's really scary. Amy Bates says a hacker convinced her son to pass over his username and password, then immediately locked Bates out of his account and had access to her credit card. And when he logged into his account, he took everything over. The guy took over his account, but also took over his email account and changed the passwords, changed the um, recovery password and the phone number. Personal information in the hands of a stranger, all because of a video game. Watching and managing your children's use of the internet is a tremendous challenge in every household. Former U.S. Attorney and Head of Pitt's Cybersecurity Institution David Hickton says scammers targeting kids through video games is not new. He says there are no silver bullets here, but have the chat with your kid about internet safety, knowing who to trust, and when you have that chat, pay attention. The only simple suggestion I would make is that you need to pay attention and have conversations with your children. And if you see any behavior which looks like they're trying to hide something from you, that's a bad sign. Hickton says to read about the game, what it's about, how money is spent on it, and think about ways your child could be susceptible to being scammed, especially if it's your credit card. Should note, Fortnite warns users multiple times not to give your username and password away, but all this a good reminder. Big money here. Jake Bates in Ohio says he spent $300 on upgrades. Quick tip, if your child is going to use a card to think about giving a gift card or any account or a card that might not be associated or tied to a bank account. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.